What is up guys, Doe here again, and I'm bringing you another transition tutorial. Um, uh, again, thanks for 100 subscribers. Um, I posted a color correction pack. It is very, very, a very big color correction pack. It has 400, you know, solid 400 color corrections in there. Um, I don't know if it's working or not. Um, I have one person said that it's not working, and no one else has given me feedback, which isn't a very good thing. I love feedback, and I'm not getting any. So, um, but let's get into this tutorial. Today, I will cover 3D transitioning, 3D transitioning, and it'll be like this. So, um, this this clip is from ages ago. I did a riot show 720. Hit marker, and then. Um, we're gonna transition. So, the transition. So, here is how you do this. Um, I'm going to delete. Actually, if I make it, and then if I make it, and then if I go back, yeah, okay. So, first, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to highlight both of them and then click the 3D layer, it looks like a cube. Click it, and then you open the clip, or first of all, god dog it, you want to have your clips over here and you want them to overlap because that's what you do in every single um, transition, you want them to overlap. So, come on, something messed up in here, it's zero, why is that there? Why are these toggled? Oh my god. Okay, so all, all this is good. Okay, so you want to go to the very beginning when you want the transition to start, and you are going to go to um, what we're doing, y, rota y rotation. So you want to click Y. You want to go to, hold on, I want to make this very accurate. So we're at 30, I want to make it 20-ish. Uh, I'm gonna make it, yeah, whatever, 20, just because it's an easy number to work with. And then, so you make your first keyframe, you go over about 20 frames ish, and then you rotate it to 90. Yes, you rotate it to 90. So, what happens is if you click the I button, is it will rotate like this, and then it will, when it, once, that, once it's at 90, it'll just turn go to a black screen. So it's at 90 now, and now oh, you want to get click on your second clip where it is at 90. You want to go make this clip the stopwatch, and you want to have this at 90 as well. So it's like that, and then it's at 90 again, and then we're gonna go for 20 frames again, and then we're going to go to 180. So what this will look like is. 3D flip transition, but we have a small problem. Um, obviously, um, the picture is flipped, so you want to go to orientation, you want to go to the Y, and you want to go to 180 degrees, and it is that simple. If it was simple, I don't know. And if we ran preview this. Put it at a quarter again. Ram preview it. It flips, which is what we wanted, and you can do this with X rotation too. You can do it with any rotation. Um, I'll do it with X real quickly. So, um, stopwatch the X, go forward, go to 90. Um, delete the bottom keyframes for Y. Same thing over here. Set it up just like exactly how you did with the Y. So this has got to be 90, and then this is going to be 180, and you just take out the Y rotation. So what's going to happen is you flip it, and this happens. What the? Oh, it's because of orientation. Set that to zero. Wait. Oh my god. That's totally opacity. What is going on? 
Is that 90? Next rotation. Oh! That would explain it. I'm sorry. Okay, so go to X, go to 90. You want to go to the X here. You want to go to 90. And then uh, we're going to go here. And then we're going to go to 180. So what this will look like if we... Um, yeah, it flips perfectly. Because what you don't want... What you don't want, and hold on, I'm gonna try to be a little quicker. What you don't want is you want you don't want to put this at zero because the flip will look like this. It'll go halfway and then it'll go like reverse. And I don't really like that. You might like that, but I don't. So I'm gonna put this back at 180. And then the only problem is the orientation, which crap. It's the Z. You change the Z orientation to 180, and then you can change the Y to 180. And it'll be fine. And then when you ram preview it, that's how you flip it across the x-axis. So um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, it's pretty popular, not really used that much anymore. But um, I hope to see it in your videos more often now that you've watched this video. So um, leave me some feedback. Go to my channel. Thank you for 100. Um, go to my channel and leave uh, tutorial suggestions because I need more ideas. Um, I'll try to come up, be more creative than just say transition because, um, I have a lot more fun, like, debriefing effects and doing stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial again. Bye-bye.